Alrighty, we're returning to the theme of Anger Week with choosing beggars because you'll obviously be angry that there are people like this who exist in the world. These are people who obviously do not re-rack their weights. We begin with, I'm such a dumb birch of a sister because I won't watch over our cousin for her. My family is full of entitled choosing beggars. <laughs> Whew, sorry to hear about that. Why aren't you replying on WhatsApp? Oh, sorry, I hardly go on there. What's up? Can you watch over Lily, the cousin, I assume? Aunt told me she'll pay 30 bucks if I watch over Lily tonight. I said, okay, but now I have plans with Ryan and Ari. I'll give you a half. So like 15 for you, 15 for me. If <laughs> you watch over Lily, what the fork XD? Should I get the whole 30 if I'm watching over her? No, I really need the money. Just do it for, for me this month, please. No, I'm actually gonna be out with dad today. Because Father's Day week, maybe, so I can't. Maybe ask someone else. There is no one else to ask. Oh my god, please, I really need this. I can't, okay, I'm sorry you should have asked me earlier. That's not my fault, what the fork? I forking hate you. You're such a dumb birch of a sister, fork you. Don't bother talking to me either. I mean, how dare you deny your sister her attempt at starting a nanny agency, okay? It's called commission. The offer was brought to her, and then she reached out to you as your agent, and she attempted to bring it to you. Now, normally agents charge about a 10% fee, but she's got a startup to run here, so she's got to do 50%, okay? And for you to deny her that opportunity is extremely selfish of you. I can't believe you wouldn't just let her have $15 of the 30 that you would otherwise get for watching the child. Uh, really, really just not generous. How is anyone supposed to start a nanny agency out there? All right, if, if people won't just allow them to get 50%. I actually don't know what nanny agencies charge. Who knows, maybe it's some exorbitant rate of 50%. They don't abide by like the traditional entertainment rules because it isn't entertainment. It's exactly the opposite. You're probably not like super duper enjoying watching a kid instead of, you know, going out with friends or something, but you're doing it because it's work. Anywho. That's, I'm sorry that your family is like this. I love Twitter. I would dump a guy if he got me a nasty cheap Pandora ring for my engagement. A guy should spend 20% of his yearly salary on a, a ring, don't you agree? Hashtag wedding, hashtag travel. 20%? Whoa, why, what, <laughs> why? Oh my God, 20%? On a, on a piece of metal and carbon. Good lord, dude, are you kidding me? So you would get to the point where you love someone that much that you would say yes. The only caveat is they have to provide the correct ring. It's a wonder that no one has proposed to you as of yet. And you're speaking in the hypothetical here. Whew, and I feel badly for the person who does reach that point where they attempt to perform a nice gesture, thinking that they've got you something to signify being with you for the rest of both of your lives, and you're like, ew, it's gross, it's not expensive enough. Jeez, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a no from me on that one, no thank you. Country level choosing beggar. North Korea refuses food aid shipment smaller than 300 tons. <laughs> I... I shouldn't laugh because it's it's terrible for the people in that country. Uh, food shortages loom and the regime begs the UN for food while refusing smaller donations. This is like those signs of someone on the corner saying, I would like money, but I won't accept anything less than $5 increments, except this is on an absolutely gargantuan scale. I'm sorry, your uh, food shipment is only 200 tons of food. Um, that's not enough for Kim Jong-un this week. <laughs> like, do I include that in the video? <laughs> Am I, is, is a spy gonna come to my house now? Uh, it's not like I'm really looking to travel to North Korea at any point, so I think I'm safe in that regard, but I'm like, hmm, do I make that joke? I finally got one, lol. Hey, I'm Emily and I currently go to blank and I'm struggling a lot in English at the moment and I'm trying to find a tutor that can help me with my assignments. I'm in year 11 and live in blank, but I'm happy to do tutoring in the library at school. Would love to meet you as soon as you can. 
Hi, Emily. Thank you for your message. I'm available for tutoring on Monday and Wednesday afternoons and stuff like that. I would like to do school. My friend Ash and I both wanted to do it. So would you be able to do both of us at the same time for the same price? No problem. I can't do two for the price of one because it will mean extra work for me, but I can give you a discount if you'd both like to do it at the same time. Normal rate's 35 per hour per person. I can do it at 25. That's actually like a really good deal for a tutor. 35 an hour. I had a tutor when I was growing up for English and it was definitely more expensive than that. So yeah, that's, that's not bad. I'll talk to my dad and get back to you. Her dad texted me. Hi, this is Emily's dad. She contacted you about tutoring. Would you be able to do both girls for 35? They're both in high school still and can't pay that much each. Regards, John. Hi, John. My normal tutoring rate's 35 an hour per person. I told Emily I'd be happy to tutor and her friend for 25 each. I took into account that although I'll be tutoring two people at once, which also means more work for me, it also means that I won't be able to give my individual attention to each one. Therefore, I think 25 each is a fair price. No, 35. Wait, what's the pro what's the problem here? I don't, wait, why are you arguing that it should be, that's, I don't, it should be 35 for both, but it was going to be like 35 for one, and now you're getting to only pay 25 instead of having to pay 35 for one, you're actually getting a discount, like, because then the, presumably the other kid or their parents would be paying the other $25, so you're paying, John, you're paying less, John, do you need a math tutor here? What the heck? 35 each? I did offer 25, but if you'd like to raise my rate, that's fine by me. Please, Emily is struggling with her English and needs your help. She's only in high school and can't afford that much. Regards. Regards, John. Regards, John. As I'm a university student and have to pay for my own expenses. Sorry, but I have already offered to lower my rate. She needs a tutor. She'll fail because of you, you dumb birch. I don't think that's John. I think maybe that's the other kid pretending to be John, but I don't know if that's John. Although it does have the signature at the end of a text message, which is a boomer thing to do. I'm a boomer though too, so but I don't do it. But it's it's like an uh, an upper echelon boomer thing to do. <laughs> you dumb birch. It's free pool. Oh man, the pool thing caused my aunt and uncle so much stress. Some people think that a pool at neighbor's house equals neighborhood pool and would just send their kids over wearing a swimsuit, no asking, just, hey, I'm here, what the heck? She ended up telling everyone that parents could come and bring their kids swimming, but no uninvited drop-offs or walk-ups. Man, people got pissed off that truly felt entitled to have her lifeguard their kids? What? And apply sunscreen and feet. <laughs> God, if someone knocked at my door and was like, hi, my kid's here to use your pool, I'd be like, yeah, you can just leave now. Uh, that's gonna be a no. What? What kind of, what the heck, dude? That's so bizarre. I just learned earlier today that Pokemon Go now has all of the pools mapped out, like of all the houses around me, and it's really bizarre. Like my pool is on there and it's an extremely accurately shaped pool on the Pokemon Go map. I'm like, this is very unsettling and strange. It's so perfectly shaped. How the heck did they do this? They mapped my pool and water Pokemon can apparently show up now because of it. Okay. But no children, Pokemon only please. Entitled treasure at a charity. A treasurer at a charity can't comprehend how 10% works. So I'm a thief. Uh, hi there, I've replaced Nicole and I can't find the keys to the lock on the change door for any of our machines. Hi Amber, the keys are with me as my guys are the ones who empty the change and tally it, tally it every fortnight. Hi, Ab, Abs? Is, oh, is, the name is actually Abs. I hope you have some sick abs, dude. Oh my god, how long is this? Whoa, buddy. This is, this is a lengthy one. Wow, it escalates to the police down here. Oh my god. Wow. This is too much. This I could do an entire video on just this particular post. I'll do anything for work. But I won't do that. Is that is that the way it goes? It's like I'll do anything for love, but I won't do that. Megan, authorized to work in the US of A. <laughs> Sorry, but just that first line is too much for me. <laughs> Willing to work three to five days a week. Very dependable, just not when writing a resume. Must be off by 3.30 every day. The earliest I'm willing to work is 10 a.m. So, you're not willing to work full time. You're only willing to work five hours a day on the days that you do work. 
And also, you can't work with mayonnaise because it grosses you out. <laughs> the plot twist is this is just like a really tedious office job where you're just filing papers all day. Not not the food industry at all, it's just like an office job, but you can't work with mayonnaise. So it can't be in the kitchen. No one's allowed to have a sandwich with mayonnaise on it while she's in the building. Otherwise, she will call the police. Oh, Megan. One day you'll figure this out. <laughs> but, um, you're not the one making demands here, actually, when you're the one submitting the resume. If the company was like, Megan, we really need you, then you could make demands. But it's all who's reaching out to who that makes that distinction. Um, also, I, I like how you've not listed any prior work experience, because perhaps there is none. Instead of a resume, it's a list of demands. It's a ransom note. <laughs> I'm holding my incredible abilities hostage from you guys until you're willing to meet my demands and pay me an hourly rate. Bake me a cake or I'll tell HR on you. Hey, I heard from Blank that you baked a cake for your team on his birthday. It's my birthday next week. Can you bake me a cake and bring it into the office? It's free, right? What? Hi, uh, yeah, I uh, baked it for him. And in our team, we usually pool money to buy a cake or someone volunteers to make it for them instead. Are you sure you want me to bake it? I've never spoken to anyone on your side of the office and don't know if it'd make any sense if I came to give it to you and your team. Haha, <laughs> I was going to buy a cake, but it's free to ask you to make it. It is free to ask. I'll give you that much. So can you do this cake on Monday? Bring it to my desk at two and I'll just give it to everyone so it's not awkward for you to talk to my people, your people. It's Ferrero Rocher and lint truffles and stuff, but you can just count the cost as my birthday gift. <laughs> it's just Gucci and Louis Vuitton, but you know, you can count it as my birthday gift. So it's just, you yeah, just do it. Can I make you box uh, cake or cookies? What the fork you're joking, right? No, I'm really sorry, but the f fact that you just want me to make this cake and deliver it to your desk so you can present it as your own contribution makes no sense to me. Also, I'm going to be kind of busy this week, dog sitting. I think maybe it's best for you to order a cake so you know it'll be up to your standards or something. You think I have the money for that? Please, you're my co-worker. It's my birthday. I want this cake. Sorry, I really can't see it tomorrow. I'm going to avoid you in the office from now on and tell everyone how you really are. Watch your back. HR might soon want a word with you. You know, uh, putting that in a in a text form that is easy to pull up on a phone but you can you know this person can also show to HR uh, with receipts as opposed to your just word maybe it's maybe it's not the best way to go about doing things I want this to be fake because it's like would anyone be this dumb who's a co-worker if this person showed this text message log to HR you'd probably be fired for being a complete idiot man oh man oh my old classmate wrote this interesting thing. Searching for an photographer for my wedding here are my requirements. Must be willing to do job for free. Must have at least eight years of experience. Must be at the wedding all the time, no breaks. Bring your own food and drinks. You know, we're at a wedding where there's just massive amounts of food to go around. Probably a lot will be thrown away, but you're, you can't have any. Sorry, we'd rather feed the trash can before we feed you. Also, we know you've been working for a really, really long time, um, but we want it to be done for free. Hey, you know what? Actually, I filmed my cousin's wedding for free, and I didn't, I didn't ask for payment. Um, so, in fact, I, I paid for the editing on, on the video, so I, I reversed this. It wasn't even free. I paid for it. <laughs> it's okay. I volunteered. Private college is upset that I donated to a broke charity they run and not them. Removed identifying info and fixed. This is a, this is a long boy right here. Woo boy. Wait. Hold on. Is this abs again? Wait a minute. Omega weapon. Omega. Bro. What is with you in dealing with people who are terrible? Abs, I'm, <laughs> my man. All right, I hope you find better people to work with. Um, but then again, I suppose you wouldn't get the sweet karma from this subreddit, so it's a, it's a trade-off. Anyway, that's it for the last top 10 of the month on Choosing Beggars. I hope you have enjoyed. Make sure to like if you liked. Check out the playlist in the description. If you want to catch more of these, subscribe if you're not already. And that'll be it. I'll see you next time.